hello everyone welcome back welcome back so gemini's let's just get into your read really quickly not quickly but let's just see a detailed reading of what's going on with you and your energy let's see what the holy spirit is going to release today gems so if this does resonate for you go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the white t but if it doesn't resonate and i have my mic right here so if it doesn't resonate you guys i will have the playlist linked below and if you're looking for a personal that information is below as well um keep in mind i'm only booking a very limited amount of people per well just one person per day so um that way i can focus on the channel you guys so keep that in mind so my slots my slots are just you know limited all right so let's just get entwined for your energy make sure you hit the 500 likes on the videos okay let's see what we have here what's going on for gemini's holy spirit holy angels holy god thank you for gemini's at that the seven of swords why gotta be the seven of swords though for your first card it's like you guys are going through so many transition transitions and changes realizations because this energy is letting you know that something ain't right like this person is not being honest someone is definitely lying to you and this is very overwhelming at this point for this to be here in reverse tell me more yeah five of cups no secret there the two of wands energy so it's like they made it a, a choice that wasn't right they made a mistake here i feel like with this whole situation i'm getting a vibe of sadness okay because you're at a point where just it's like your emotion is shot you know you feel abandoned you feel disappointed in this person you feel stripped you feel like this person have took away a lot of who you were um and you gave this person your power in some form like because for them to have this power over you for you to feel this way wow but the the thing about this is is that you really wanted this situation to be great to be grand to work out you put a lot into the five of cups and for them to be spilled over like this you weren't receiving anything back and there's an energy of you continuously trying to like give this person um a positive part of you if that makes sense like you're constantly giving out positive energy you're constantly giving out this person your son you're pro you're, you're constantly making this person happy tell me more holy spirit all right this person does chase you this is what i'm seeing here wow look at the sun in reverse you don't have anything else to give this person but there is this king of cups energy and there's attraction here so there is a lot of feelings here as well and also the physical aspect of it this person for some of you could be a leo i'm getting leo here as well aries leo sag i'm getting scorpio cancer pisces tell me more holy spirit look at this no communication but there's a lot of feelings and there's a lot of attraction and there is a mutual interest so someone is very much not focused on you and focused on other people tell me about the seven the seven of cups energy holy spirit the three of cups in reverse the justice the hangman so they're acting like you're going crazy because you feel like something shady is happening here you feel like this person is cheating on you you feel like this person has feelings for someone else and you're going to find out the truth because the justice is coming up in the upright but this person is acting like they don't know what you're talking about in the hangman but this person is going to come clean they're going to have to come clean because it's like the walls are closing in on them <laughs> there is going to be balance here it has to be because this is so unbalanced this is so unfair i feel like they're gonna come clean because they care about you okay all right so 
And when I say care, I'm saying I'm seeing love, okay? Because you have the King of Cups here that offer. So a lot of you had some kind of commitment or arrangement with this person when it comes to love. All right. So this was there. All right. So tell me more about the situation. For Gemini's, please tell me more about the situation. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Goddess. Thank you. For Gemini's. So I'm getting the Ten of Pentacles. I'm also getting the Eight of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Hmm, it's crazy. This is a little crazy. There's no stability here, okay? Um, when it comes to things moving to the next level with you in this energy, that is very hard for you as well um, because I'm seeing like everything is moving very slowly. A lot of you need to be very careful because some kind of contract has been developed here. For those of you who could have plant a seed and watch it grow this could be pregnancy this could be a home this could be a contract that you signed your name on for this person to help them out and this person is appearing to be someone that is not really there right now to give you back that ten of pentacles but i feel like they are trying to figure things out okay there's not much stability though there's not much making you feel safe and secure there's not much coming home to you every night. There's not much, um, you know, having that that foundation, that firm foundation that no one can break. This feels very delicate um, and it feels like it can be broken at any point. OK, all right. So tell me more about this. spirit you have the star here yeah someone is losing faith and hope about this situation as well i'm seeing the star in reverse here there's not much nurturing in this connection there's not much um taking care of yourself as well it's like i'm seeing like you're putting all your energy in someone here the spirits are saying you need to like really take care of yourself. Then you have the seven of pentacles here. So I'm seeing a lot of like something is coming in. Okay, tell me. But I'm seeing anxiety with this situation. So tell me about the seven of pentacles. What's going on with the seven of pentacles? I feel like this person is realizing like... not much but something is happening here because even with the justice they're going to have to sacrifice even with the hangman being here they're going to come towards you that's not the problem they're going to come towards you and they're going to try to tell you the truth but i feel like they're they're being pressured into it like they're the way they're coming through is like like they don't have a choice at them at, at this point they have to do this so tell me about the seven, Ooh, the nine. Yeah, look, okay. So it's basically having that energy of focusing on yourself. Because there's so much anxiety here. This is what I'm getting. There's no, there's no new direction. There's no new um, perspective. No new way of trying to make this work. It's like you are going, you're going through a cycle with this person. I'm also seeing someone is laying back too much and taking advantage within the Empress. This is a uh, Virgo energy, Sag energy for those of you, Leo energies over here, um, Libra energies over there, Aquarius is over here. Um, but I feel like it's like you are showing up as someone that is keeping the home together because even with this 10 of pentacles you're showing up as a nine of pentacles as well this st stable energy and here it's like you need to nurture yourself because this person is 
not showing you the appreciation you need within this relationship. I'm also seeing like the angels here are really like coming out to like really say take care of yourself not just in the star with the universe being on your side but with the temperance as well okay so let's just tap into what this person's got going on let's see what we can get from this situation okay for this person's energy towards Gemini's. What is this person's energy towards Gemini's? Holy Spirit. Let's see. Hmm, lovers fell out here. Gemini energy. <laughs> Take that. If it resonates with you but there is like this attraction and a crazy thing about that is like this person is rushing towards you with a flirtatious energy but not much space and room for stability okay so tell me more look at that the seven. Oh my god two sevens actually we have the seven of pentacles the seven of swords for their energy they're saying there's so much lies here that is just out in the open and they're trying to invest in what it's like they're trying to get the situation under wraps so there is a lot of things or especially um expe <laughs> a lot of truth um going around about this third party or this shady situation with this three of cups this could be their friends this could be their family too but someone is in the center of all this someone is in the middle of all this someone is invested in these lies they're saying someone is lying someone is you know because with a seven of pentacles seven of this is out of control. It's already there. It's already out. But someone is invested to tell the situation, to tell these stories. And it's someone that is a third party. Third party could also mean a friendship. Or this could be a family situation that is so shady. This could be a friendship situation that's shady. Or another person. Another friend that you don't even talk to anymore. That is, you know, definitely doing something behind your back. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Look, the lovers is out. That's meant to be here. Gemini's on a J. So this person is going to reach out. If you guys are not in communication, because the hangman is something that, you know, when something happens, they tend to like back away from the situation. And but I feel like this person is going to eventually come towards you. You are changing yourself within this situation as well. I'm seeing that you're protecting your energy. But there is going to be something happening here with this eight of pentacles. Where I'm seeing this person trying to impress you or to better or to change something about themselves. Um, because they want to be with you. This is what I'm seeing here. Okay, But your energy has pretty much okay realize that this perfect this person is imperfect and you need to be more logical and i'm just seeing like you're taking steps to be a little smarter you know when jumping into something or jumping into it's not like you're not seeing this person anymore but you're just being very careful with this person's energy okay tell me more okay we have the star energy, you have the ten of wands energy, and also the temperance. Hmm. 
again you know this person is feeling the same way you are i mean they have to treat like treat themselves with respect too i feel like this person is losing faith and hope within the situation you both have the star you both have the temperance you both have your angel guides being present this relationship is showing up as a burden or showing up as like too many trials and tribulations happened here and they're losing hope because they you know of course you know they could have like even caused this for those of you but for them to have this energy, the same energy that is coming up for you, it's like some of you, you caused this to them. So I'm not going to ignore that within the reading because they're, this is their energy. They're bringing up the, you know, the hardship, the trials and tribulations, not trusting you, not trusting this relationship, not having any hope within this relationship anymore. And also the fact that you know, they lost themselves within this connection. So some of you could have been together for quite a long time. And then they're bringing up the three of sword, the three of cups, the same energy that you brought up, right? And so I'm getting two different energies here. I'm getting like a lot of you, this person did this to you. And then for some of you, you did this to this person because it's just too ironic that they're coming up with the same cards. And I'm shuffling my ass off, okay? So, and their angel guides are pretty much here. Something about divine timing for both of you. Like something needs to be, need to happen on the right time here. Tell me more. So you have the nine of pentacles, the nine, oh, nope, nope. You have the justice. Something is um, codependent, this foundation, because they're saying that there was a decision that was made that was very codependent. You weren't listening to your heart. Something happened here. They look at you as the nine of pentacles, which is wonderful and they feel like they're going to choose you right but there was some kind of income like some kind of codependency here some kind of stubbornness you know like i don't know it's like i'm getting this energy of like i'm telling you what to do or i'm giving you my opinion on the matter or the truth and you're over there believing in someone else no matter what i say libra energy taurus energy page of wands energy yeah again the page of wands coming up for them as well they're saying they have a lot of anxiety here the 11 11 don't feel right so something is going on with the home the foundation of this relationship like it don't feel right like they feel like this is falling apart like there's things that you need to talk about there's a lot of negativity and not a, a lot of words that are being exchanged too a lot of you are feeling ill. Don't feel the same in this connection anymore. There's a lot of negativity. Tell me about this magician. The Page of Pentacles. King of Wands. Magician. Someone is really determined here. Like, I'm hearing like, I made this decision and it's final. And that's that. When it comes to doing something on my own, I'm getting Aries energy or Libra. Like this situation needs balance. But I'm seeing a conversation. For those of you who are not speaking about this 10, look at that. They're bringing up the 10 of cups, the 10 of, oh my God, 10 of pentacles. And the Ace of Cups, this person wants to continue this, even though this is codependent. Something about this was codependent and they're saying, but you know what? I'm making this decision though to make this work. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. A lot of you could be dealing with a Scorpio too. Virgo. 
Gemini. Gemini is coming up twice within the Magician and the Lovers. Taurus. There is this transition that's happened between you and this person. And I'm getting that you, this person is feeling quite stuck. Okay, you have the Eight of Swords here. You have the Death. You have the, the Ten of Cups. So another 11-11 energy in reverse. And basically, the, the when I feel 11-11, I think about the future. And I think about your wishes. And I think about what's coming in. And I feel like this person, when they they think of a home they still want a future because something is settled because they're, they're bringing up a contract right so they're looking at you logically like okay you have your life together you have a great job you have money that is coming in like we i can build this with you i can build this with you and um a lot of you already built something together whether it's a company you gave birth to a child or some kind of agreement between you and this person right um but something is already fixed all right and I'm seeing that when it comes to the future, though, when it comes to like, oh, my God, this is where I can rest my head at night. They don't know if that's going to happen. Because they're, they're feeling really stuck within a toxic environment, even though it's constantly trying to be fixed within the magician. There's some kind of negativity happening here. Someone is losing their faith and talking very negatively, too. Because the star came up for you guys twice in the reverse. So there's this is hopeless. You know, someone is saying that, you know, I don't have any faith within this. Um, helpless. Feeling like this helpless energy, like this is just not going to work out. There's a lot of negative vibes or negative seeds being planted here. Tell me more. Okay, so you have the nine of wands energy in the chariot. So somebody wants to come home, but they're not, they're confused. They're thinking about things because of a lot of the hardship. Tell me more. A lot of the trials and tribulations. Yeah, it's just too much. The four of pentacles, they really feel like they need to let go of this connection but they're having a hard time because there's so much history between you and this person. But they want to let go. The Four of Pentacles. Letting go of this. Tell me more about this chariot, please. Why is it in reverse? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Chariot. Mm, I knew it. Mm, mm, mm. All right, I need one more. We have the Knight of Swords and a Three of Swords energy for the Chariot in the reverse. All right, the Five of Wands. So there's multiple people that's coming in. There's a third party energy that is showing up. I kind of felt that from the very start of the reading with the Three of Cups. Three of Cups came up twice for you and for this person's energy. And now we're having a three of swords energy. There is a constant vibration of severe discovery, okay? That you realize that this person have played with your heart. And, and the thing about this is, it's like, first of all, they're confused because there's too much trials and tribulations, but they're showing me that they don't want to can give you this commitment like there is a you know what i mean like they're taking back this situation there's a blockage here um of this relationship and there is a constant vibe as well with a lot of trials and tribulations with a lot of people coming in a lot of competition as well okay so you can be fighting with other people arguing with other people um but there's a lot of conflict between you and this person okay um why am i seeing you guys like just not getting along but i don't know you got the lovers here so this is like if you guys are not careful it's going to be at the ends of the relationship where it's just you're becoming that person that you know is just going to be sleeping together <laughs> you know from a relationship to a, a, this situation so you need to be very careful and be honest and let this person know what you want don't just assume communicate communication if you have that you have everything all right so let's just see what this person's intentions is because they're losing faith you're losing faith 
this is what I'm getting. Okay. So tell me more, Holy Spirit. Ooh. What's today? Okay. <laughs> All right. Tell me more. Let's see what we got. This person's energy look wow so this person like i said justice so the justice has been coming up a lot they want to tell you the truth want to choose you this is what they want to do they want to do this they have the page of pentacles they are trying to figure something out not sure how to proceed and all they know is this lover's card with you okay so of course I'm seeing like some of you, your energy, the way this foundation was created, it was based on intimacy. All right. So we have the seven of wands in reverse. Okay. So there's a lot of things that this person hid from you and they felt like, you know what? You didn't need to know about it, but now it's becoming a problem because first of all, this is what caused the ripple effect. And, um, now everything is coming up to the surface. So you're going to know the truth. You're going to have to heal from this situation. All right. This is about the five of cups and why they were so distant and why you felt like you were losing your person. Okay. But they look at you as the nine of pentacles and there is also an apology in there too. So look out for that if you guys are interested, but let's just see what this person has for you. Well, what you have for them. Okay. <laughs> what you have for them. Okay, what's Gemini's energy towards this energy? Oh, why my cards are flipping, you guys? You got a lot to say. What's going on for Gemini's energy towards this person? Yeah, you got a lot, a lot to say, gems. I can't even keep the cards together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Five. So you are open to kind of like, you know, build something with this person, even though they left you. This is what you're telling me. Like they abandoned the relationship. They left you. They left a lot of responsibilities on your back. A lot of you are um, parents. Okay. This is what I'm seeing or have some kind of responsibility on your back because you're coming off very feminine and like you're coming off like a provider here. Like in, this is very important to you. Like you're in control of your home right now. Um, for those of you and you're trying to take care of things now when it comes to the future with this person you are in the same boat as them like you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know what's gonna happen but you do have this energy of like okay I'm open to work on things to improve things but my intuition is sky high I don't trust this person I need to know more I'm moving with caution within the fools. I'm not going to do what I did before and basically jump in, even though I have so much love for this person. Okay. This person is my ace of cups, but they led me into an empty relationship. This person did not like, they knew what I wanted, but they did not give me what I wanted. They, I received empty promises from this person. And this is why I blocked this person. Also, there's no communication here. Look at this. No communication. This person is a player. Okay. But look, it just goes on and on. Look at this. Use attraction, by the way. You're attracted to each other. And that's what we picked up before. But there's this stuck vibration. Eight of swords energy. Feeling trapped. Feeling stuck. Feeling you're restricted. Feeling like, you know what, this person have messed with your values. This person have messed with your self-esteem. This person have, you know, really just stripped you apart. Your confidence is gone. And now you have to get your confidence back. But you have to know how to get it back on your own. And know that this person is not going to give that back to you. Okay? All right. So, I feel like that's what I have for you, you guys. I'm going to end it here for this reading. 
okay so if it does resonate gems go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the latte make sure that all your videos do hit the 500 likes is very important it helps the channel to grow you guys we are almost there we are just almost there and i just want this channel to just be that channel you know but i've been putting a lot of work in and pushing out these readings so yeah i appreciate every one of your love and support continue to like the video comment down below what you want to see next when we do hit the 500 likes i would definitely go back and count the votes and then push out the video that you guys voted for period and i'll see you guys in your next video bye guys